Ardo was his old self again, and we treated ourselves to a couple of pale ales after our scare. As we navigated our way to the River Pirates, it got so cold that it snowed. My fingers were itching to swing my axe, but Ardo insisted on making the best of a bad situation. Now it was more critical to find out what had happened to Mora and Raoul's crown. Ah, now they'll feel the edge of my axe. We can't handle them all, my friend. This isn't our job. Let's talk to them first. Remember, we want to find Mora. What's this? Trouble? Or customers? Tell me, who are you? What do you want? Time is gold. They call me Goldtooth, and I'll tell you what it has to do with me. First, I don't tolerate competition. Second, I take care of my businesses here. And third, I tell my friends when my nose tells me something stinks. Something's not quite right about you and your cronies. Well, that's an attitude that'll gain you both followers and enemies. But the rules here apply to all, understood? Differences are settled at the dueling ground. Keep your weapon sheathed anywhere else. If somebody tries to take your life, defend yourself. But no vendettas and no complaining. Any questions? Do you like waiting in the reeds? I see. I can't tell you anything about that. Aye, you're right. Hukensang brought a woman with him a while ago. But you'll have to look for the captain yourself. He hasn't shown his face for a while. Ah, I see. You want to talk to Thunderfist. But I'm afraid I must disappoint you. We don't let just anybody do that. You can only meet Thunderfist if you have enough people vouch for you. Not just anybody, of course. People with a certain amount of influence. Like me. The council members. Apart from me, there's Iron Taste, Widow Friend, Hukensang, and Balchok. <laughs> but I doubt you'll be able to get their agreement. Aye, but you won't manage it anyway. <laughs> Who would you like to know about? I, Avarosh, son of Gramtax, is my name. And my tooth isn't all the gold I have either. <laughs> I mine precious metals in the Delvin. And I run all kinds of other lucrative businesses. Loans, for example. At interest, of course. That reminds me. I need someone to call in a few debts for me. It seems to me you want to get on my good side, don't you? Aye, then make yourself useful. Those who don't make their payments get a visit. Understand? Will you take care of it? The first is Growler Bodo, a dog breeder. You'll find him near the back harbor. He's stubborn as a mule, that one. Threats of violence don't work on him. And don't call him Growler. The second one is Radomir, the Tavern King. I'll give you three guesses where you can find him. A tricky fellow. Don't let him fool you. And then there's Zira, our tender Snow White. She hangs around behind the tavern, fluttering her eyelashes and waiting for business. Aye, she does. And I'm losing gold as we speak. Growler Bodo owes me 12 ducats. Radomir owes me 11 ducats. And Snow White owes me 8 ducats. That's 31 ducats in total. 
Any questions? If you think it will help. <laughs> Who? Thuin Sormin is a dangerous man. Aye, he got into the banditry business early in life. First coaches, then ships. Who knows what else? The only thing that's certain is you won't have much fun speaking with him. He spends a lot of time doing deals in the tavern. First, you must speak with his bosun, a stinking blackfell. <laughs> I wonder if you'll survive that. Aye, we shall see. Are you ready then? Aye, but you won't manage it anyway. <laughs> Who would you like to know about? Rumpo Perchbold. A man who made it from common mercenary to captain. How did he do it? Aye, I'd like to know that. He's usually over at the back pier, that show off. Ask him yourself. <laughs> Anything else? If you think it will help. <laughs> who? <laughs> Jadira Cruento is a Zahori. You know, a traveling people. She took over the booze house after they strung up the old innkeeper here. Now they all dance to her tune down there. Are you ready then? Aye, but you won't manage it anyway. <laughs> Who would you like to know about? Ah, our very own nobility. Timorn of Stone Ground. But he'll soon be residing on a stony riverbed if he's not careful. <laughs> You can still find them in the tavern. Are you ready then? Maybe. I do make my own rules just like you. But why should I? <laughs> Possibly. I wonder whose side that woman is on. But she's certainly not here anymore. Only Thunderfist knows where she is right now. Anything else? What a handsome fellow. Wanna go on a little adventure with me? Oh, good old Avarash. But I already told him I don't have his money. Oh, you disappoint me, good lady. How can a lady of your class be indebted to a ruffian like Avarash? With your Raja given looks, I'm sure you don't need it. Sweet thing, what pretty words. You certainly know how to talk to a lady like me. Hmm, and those big brown eyes. Here, take the money and come back again soon. Hey there, wait. What are you doing here? Stop talking. This fellow's picking our brains. Break it off. Really? You're looking for Mora. Uh, you're pulling my leg, right? Maybe I can help you. What else can you tell me? You're here for a reason. I can tell. Come on, you can trust me. You want to know what's going on, eh? Really, not bad. We don't get many traders here. Hey, do you mind if I ask you a question? Well, yes. Who's the blondie with you? The big fellow with the beard. My name is unimportant. Let's end this conversation. This fellow is playing with us. Thanks for the chat. It was a pleasure. For you too, right? Hey, you there! You're the one I gave a good beating! I hate you! Everything went wrong in my life after I gave you that beating! I ran off when your cronies stuck their noses in. In the rush to escape, my ship floundered on one of the great rocks. I barely made it back here on the ship's tiny lifeboat! Most of my people went down with the ship. Worst of all, before all this happened, I had a chance of getting on the council. Now that Hookensang sits there instead of me, it's all your fault. I don't care about that. 
I feel like giving you another bump on the head for everything that's happened because of you and your cronies. All right, I get it. You're not to be messed with. Oh, another bloody nose. By Rhonda, let that be a lesson to you for waylaying innocent people. I suppose you want to buy a dog. Well, you can forget that. They're all reserved. None of your business. I don't talk about customers. He can wait until I've sold this litter here. Then he can have his ducats. Tell him that. Tell me, are all your dogs purebred Grimtooth Bull Terriers? I've rarely seen such splendid specimens. They respond well to a little praise when they do something right. What? A true expert? Are you also a breeder? Here, take the money. I won't deny a fellow dog lover. You've spared me a deal of trouble. Thank you. I know Avarash won't leave me in peace until I pay, and you seem to be all right, even though you're a stranger here. By the Twelfth Gods, Ethra is small indeed. I am most pleased to see a familiar face. What brings you here? You help get me the Elven Puff. Of course I will help you. However, I feel my vote does not count for much around here. I urgently need help against the person who is trying to discredit my leadership. Otherwise, the crew will refuse to guide my ship to safe harbors. He accuses me of personal profit at the expense of the crew. After meeting with the sponsor of our last mission, the share of the loot to be distributed to the crew went missing. Judge for yourself. He's just over there splashing out on expensive liquor. His very presence there is a mockery because every time he toasts me, he also spreads his lies. I trust in your discretion. <coughs> Be advised, you will be at a disadvantage when drinking with him. <coughs> Unless you buy him something a little stronger. Premfire, for example. I thank you once again. Your helpful attitude will not go unrewarded. Hey, strong man. Nice to see you. I hope you have a little time to talk. Hmm. I like a man of action, sweetie. Don't be so coy. Ask. Don't be embarrassed. You need my vote, I presume. You'll get it. But first I want to see if you're too fancy for a little job. I can't stand people who can't get stuck in. Go to the distillery just outside the village and ask the lazy dog there where my delivery is. Get him to hurry up and bring the schnapps right over. Do that and you'll get my vote. I'm a true Zahori. My people are a traveling people with fire in their blood. This is why I traveled the land when I was young. I stayed nowhere for longer than a month and had many adventures. Sometimes I worked as a camp follower, or I sang and I danced. <laughs> then I met Rumpo and followed him here. The old innkeeper had just died, so I took over the business. Now they play the music that I want to hear. Hey, don't I know you? Dark in here. Hey, you're that elf hugger who loves to talk so much, aren't you? Drink a pale ale, it's good for the eyes. You'll remember me soon enough. <laughs> ah, nobody forgets me. You can get me a drink, right? Hackensang cupped all our loot for himself and now I'm poor as King Mazirion. Why? What for, who knows, stupid question. He wants riches because he inherited nothing but pride. That's why he's hoarding all our loot. <laughs> he say it was all stolen from the ship's chest. But of course he can't prove it. You buying or not? Lenny, honey, bring us two tankards. My friend's paying. 
I'm not your honey glass biter. But smile nicely, and you'll get what you want. Ah, this is the life! Let's have another one! I like it here! Pramfire? Oh, oh, too much for me. Never. Letty? That sounds like trouble, but the customer's always right. One hear a joke? Two pirate captains go into a bar. One says, hey matey, what happened to your leg? The one with the wooden leg says, a ballista bolt took it off. No, anyway, the next time they meet, he's got a hook for a hand, like a certain captain we know. So the first pirate says, hey matey, what happened to your hand? The other one answers, a ballista bolt took it off. Listen. The next time they meet, he's missing an eye, too. Hey, matey, ballista get you again? He answers, nope, a bird pooped in my eye, and I forgot about me hook. <laughs> oh, the wheel up. Down the ceiling. Spinning. Or is it me? Oh, uh, hold tight. Oh, won't stop, huh? Don't lie down here. Jadira will have at you with her rolling pin. You'd better take my advice. You always have good ideas, yep. Ooh, but I feel sick. Oh, gotta get out. Why, you miserable snooper. You wanna know what my fists think of that? <laughs> Ow, my head! Stop! Can we talk about this? Oh, it's my fair share. Weren't for that stingy captain. Ow! Don't hit me! The loot's under the rocks in the last grave there. I'm gone. Things are getting too hot for me here. Maybe I'll go back to Furdock and my son Lars. Help me! Please help me! It's terrible. These trolls just turned up, wanted sugar, anything sweet. They smelled the alcohol and tried it. Now they're smashing the place up, looking for something sweet to eat. Get rid of the trolls! Otherwise, they'll tear my hut apart, too! Sweet powder! We want more! Oh no! That's bad! No more sweet powder? Never? Bad. Oh no, come. We get bee nests now. They go back. Wonderful. The nightmare is over. I can't thank you enough. They drank pretty much everything. I managed to save a small bottle of my best stuff. Here, take it. Hey, sweetie. How can I help you? What? Well, I expect there's a good reason for this, huh? Well done. You're not afraid to act. I like that. You'll get my vote on the council and plenty of free beer to wash away the smell of troll. You are a darling. Maybe you can... I have some business with Rumpo that makes me so sad. Don't call him that. He got that name because of his boastful talk. He used to be so different. He was rough and ready. He spoke his mind. Yes. Then he went out raiding and came back a changed man. The old perch bolt had turned into that foppish widow chaser. I just don't like him anymore. I want the old, crude, ugly, but honest Rumpo. Absolutely not. I already spoke with Sanraya the Elf. She's gonna brew me a potion. She just needs a lock of hair from Rumpo's head. Maybe you can get it and take it to Sanraya? Greetings. Have you news? That traitor. 
Where are the goods now? Wonderful. The crew will be pleased. And as you can confirm Brave Thorn's confession, he won't dare show his face here again. Take these ducats as a reward. I hope you find time to spend time with me again. Farewell. Ah, here comes my lackey. Well, did you call in all the debts for me? Child's play? Aye. Well, you're not getting my vote for child's play. You knew that, right? I'm told my mine is haunted and work has ground to a halt. Get my dwarves delving again. Over the bridge and then right. Not left, got that? I'll put a nice big cross on your map in case that's too much for you to handle. There. If I knew that, I wouldn't have to send anyone, would I? Must I explain everything to you? Go on. Time is gold. How many times do I have to tell you? Hello. Just a moment, please. At last, somebody wants to talk to me. I am Bredo Bento, a peddler. You are a customer, aren't you? Not a heavy for that... that dwarf? That's right, a peddler. I wander from place to place and buy things that I find in one area. Then I sell stuff that's made its way into my saddlebags during my travels. I'm looking for one berries right now. You don't happen to have any, do you? I just ate my last one because of all the trouble here. I love the taste of those berries, but I can't find any wherever I look. Three farthings per berry. That's well over their normal value, but I just love those little things. It looks like this is my lucky day. Here's the money. May I be of service in some way? I hardly know anything. The troublemakers in the village always either beat me up or ignore me. Me and my friend Zelski Niko, a peddler boy like me, we always have a bet about who will go to the worst dump. So I thought I'd go to Hammerberg. Even Efner Smith warned me that things weren't quite right here. He said there are ghosts here, in the old mines and caves under the mountains. Anyway, that's what Ruth Custer told Joe Hanker. Anything else? Nothing I could tell you for sure. But Miguel Pestel, a peddler like me, he told me a story about the Thunder Fist. It's a dreaded galley that has sailed the Great River for years. The ship has a massive ram and is rowed by a hundred lizard men. They say it even broke the chain across the river at Elvenhus. May I be of service in some way? I'm an open book. Ask away. Yes, that greedy Avarosh. He came up with two of his beardy friends and said, You don't belong here, boy. And only Avarosh trades here. Then the two heavies beat me with their clubs out of the village and over the bridge. And now nobody will talk to me. How can a traveling salesman make a living like this? Take care. Do not enter the delving. It could end horribly. A crazy Bosnickel has run amok in the delving. Anyone stupid enough not to leave the mine gets turned into stone. You don't know what a Bosnickel is? A nasty leprechaun with a thing for metal, that's what. It turns things into stone and changes gold into worthless fool's gold. He turned up in the delving a few days ago. He started with practical jokes, trying to get us to leave. Things got worse and worse until Avrosh ordered us to catch him and silence him. Of course not. The Bosnical was powerful. Much too powerful. He turned all my friends to stone. He got to me last. Instead of turning me to stone, he just giggled. He said I was lucky, and then he babbled something like, Fiddlesticks in poppycock. Not again. Only four letters in my name. 
can't turn you into stone. I've already made four statues. True. Maybe it has something to do with his name. I heard you can drive him off if you learn their name. But that's just a legend. Finding out his name to drive him out is one thing, but please try to turn my four friends back. Maybe you could ask the elf down at the riverbanks. She lives in a house on stilts and seems to know a little bit about magic. Well, er, no. Well, maybe the delving borders on Norgan Mashram. Norgan Mashram, an ancient dwarven delving deserted long ago. You're right. Forgive me. It is forbidden to seek Norga Majram. King Arumbalosh must have a reason for his decree. You can count on that. Oh, if you need a torch or bandages, just ask. I'm the quartermaster and smith for the delving. My supplies are modest, but I hope they'll suffice. <laughs> and another player takes the stage. Unwelcome and uninvited. <laughs> I am the all singing, all dancing, boss nickel, your worst nightmare. And two! I have a warning. <laughs> a warning of the secrets of the delving. Do you see this next to me? This shapeless pile of rocks? <laughs> that was once a dwarf. I turned him into stone. He will delve me no more. <laughs> but what are you? And what do you want? Oh, not good. But games are in my nature. So I say, will you play a game with me? I'm not telling. First, you must say yes. <laughs> Here's the game. Questions and answers we will play. If you win, you will get my name and can command me. The dwarves, I'll turn back too. But you will not win. <laughs> da -da -da -da! Let the show begin. Clear the stage for the Riddle Master. On my left, one of those pint-sized surly dwarfs. If you guess right, I'll turn him back and he'll whisper one letter of my name to you. Guess wrong and you'll have to do it yourself to get my name. Quiet, please. I'm about to tell you the rules. Listen well. One, only you can answer. Two, you must answer immediately. Three, you can ask one companion only once. Four, you can buy one answer with rat tails. Five, you may lock out two wrong answers once. Understand? What is the popular Aventurian woman's name beginning with N? A, Alric. B, Lena. C, Sela. D, Niam. Right! You win! My bearded helper will now give you your reward! The first letter is N for Nickel. But by my pick, why did I say that? He did what? Oh, I'd be angry if only I weren't so tired. I just need to rest a little, then I'll go. Ho oh, ho! It's me, Boss Nickel! <laughs> Just because I'm bored, how about another little game? No spoil sports? You have to play! Otherwise, no further for you! Ha! Repeat the following tongue twister perfectly! Huh? What? I couldn't make it out! But I didn't hear a mistake either. Mediocre. Very mediocre. Fine. I'll still put something in the rainbow chest. The candidate takes the stage once again. Ready for the next question? The 1,000 what army? A. Coach. B. Ogre. C. Goat. D. Dragon. Right! You win! My bearded helper will now give you your reward. The second letter is O for one berry cake. But by Angrosh, curly back here! 
That sneaky, miserable little... He's using me like a puppet. I don't care. Wait until I get my hands on him. I was looking for him. It wasn't difficult. He's always chattering away to himself. When I found him, I snuck upon him without a sound. I was just about to grab him when he turned around and everything went dark. He must have good ears. I will. That leprechaun won't make a fool of me again. Oh, for one berry cake. I hate one berries. A round of applause. The leprechaun is back. Ready for another Nandoresque riddle? What's the longest river in Aventuria? A. Thunderbrook. B. Great River. C. Yakir. D. Ingwell. Right! You win! My bearded helper will now give you your reward! The third letter is G for gold. What? Where am I? The water pump? Gone? And I'm on ramp B4? What's going on? Aha! That explains everything. I was just about to get the pump working. Water had broken through, you see. Then boom! I was gone. Everything went black. I thought the jammed lever had come loose and bashed me on the head. <laughs> but then I would have seen stars and not just black. <laughs> Good hunting. I'll get to the pump. Everything seemed fine at the last inspection. It must have been sabotaged by one of those little tunnel rats. Let's roll the stones! A new game! What do the Thorwallians call their longships? A. Codgers B. Cutters C. Potters D. Otters Right! You win! My bearded helper will now give you your reward! The fourth letter is O for Ogre. Ogre? Where? Me? Hey. Hey. Who are you? A friend of our clan, or an ally of that boss, Nickel? If you're our friend, get that wretched intruder! Go on! Are you calling me a coward? Careful! How can I chop him up with my axe if I can't get to him? Halt! Before you go, take your skull for getting rid of the leprechaun. If you fail, I'll get it back with my pick. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Off you go. Who's that crashing about like a heffalump? Now I have to sing my rock to sleep again. So, what's my name? I know it's child's play, but those are the rules. Speak up! What? How? I don't believe it! You tricked me! Just like my cousin Rumble Stiltskin! So be it! My vanquisher, command me! Today is different! This isn't the last you've seen of me! If you're greedy, look in the crate at the back! Be warned, Avarash is the greediest of them all! He will find only corruption where he seeks! I've been watching you. You can handle yourself. But now get out of here! Authorized individuals only! If Avaros sent you, then go talk to him about gratitude. I have a schedule to meet. We're already way behind. We'll have to put on extra shifts, and that means angry workers. Go! To the exit! Top, top! Go straight to Avaros. And stay out of the delving from now on, is that clear? It's in danger of caving in due to recent leprechaun activity. That took a cursed long time by fix. Did you take care of everything? Good, good. Those leprechauns are a terrible plague. I'll hire some more dwarves to make up for the lost time, aye? Aye, if you wish. But now I must take care of the delving. Bah! 
Old ghost stories. Just as stupid as all that talk about the River Father. The only thing I believe in is hard, shiny, jingling cash. Here, take a little for your trouble and forget the whole thing. You're talking to the wrong dwarf there. I don't go in for all that pryat like prattle, understand? Sure. Leprechauns are malicious, not nosed little pests that just like to cause trouble. What's that to you? Do I ask you about your private affairs? Well, I have a better memory than you. I've been waiting for a man of your abilities. You're just in time to help me out of a difficult situation, should you be so disposed. You, uh, appear to have a question? Uh, I'd be pleased to do so, but, uh, first, I would ask that you help me. I trust that you'll handle the following information discreetly. I trust that I will not have to ask Mr. Farfara here to deal with any problems that might arise from your actions. I, uh, recently forgot my snuffbox during a secret tryst with a barmaid in her chamber under the tavern. There is now a danger that her sweetheart will find it and make an unfortunate inference to my person. Betty's sweetheart is uh, Captain Iron Taste. He's been spending a lot of time conducting his business from the tavern recently. <laughs> I'm sure you appreciate my problem. Naturally, I would be most grateful if you could retrieve the snuffbox as quickly as possible. I presume I can trust in the good impression you have made on me. Just a minute. Staff only through here. You're not staff. Didn't even know the distillery was broken. Wouldn't bother me if we never got any more of that rot gut. But you're not taking that swill through the back door. Everyone should see what poison Jadira sells here. What a pleasure to see you again. Did you bring me what I requested of you? <sighs> How could I forget the dog breeder? Forgive me. Well, Alrico tricked him once by telling him he was taking a crate of stone softener to the cellar for Jadira. It's a strong dwarf schnapps from Angbar. Bodo and Hokensang are the only ones here who drank the stuff. For good reason. Well, Bodo recently found out that somebody gave his dogs a sleeping potion. I don't want him to suspect me. You're new here, so he won't consider you. Just a minute. Staff only through here. You're not staff. Fine, fine. Bring it in. Just be careful. Don't drop it. What are you doing down here? Burglar! And you decided to play the burglar instead of just asking me? I may be sweet-tempered Letty, but this is too much. Letty, my dear, I'm not playing the burglar. I am a burglar. Just as you're not just sweet-tempered Letty, you're lovely Letty. How can I refuse a charming rogue like you? I'll always have a weakness for sweet talk like that. Before I give you the snuff box, just to be sure, who does it belong to? Fine, I'll get it for you. Wait a moment. Here, take this. It's Rumpo's snuff box. Oops, I almost forgot. Please don't mention all of this to my papa. He's the barber surgeon here. He still thinks I'm a good girl <laughs> in a place like this. <laughs> but don't be angry if I kick you out now. I don't want to see you down here again. What a pleasure to see you again. Did you bring me what I requested of you? Ha! That's my snuffbox. 
I'm so very grateful. Here, take this generous reward. You may also take a pinch of my extra strong snuff tobacco. There is one more trifling matter before I can grant you my vote. <sighs> well, I must confer with my bosun, Alrico. Unfortunately, he is currently very poorly disposed, but I'm sure you'll manage to cheer him up. I didn't say you had to. It's your decision. But otherwise, I won't be able to give you my vote. I am sorry. You'll find Alrico at the end of the jetty. Who? Ah, a new face. Allow me to introduce myself. Alrico Fafara of Grangor, the fairest city of Fairfield. And to whom do I owe the honor? Greetings, noble Alrico Farfara. I am Ardo of Bo... Uh, Ardo, a merchant of the Midden Realm. My name is Kano Ui Benedin of the fairest city in Albernia, the beautiful Havina. I spend so much time surrounded by these ruffians, it's wonderful to meet a nobleman. Yakon Zagor, guild mage of Festum. And to whom else do I owe the honor? And how can Alrico Farfara help you? Oh, I had just forgotten the shame that fills my heart with grief. But you bring me hope. If the captain thinks that you might be able to retrieve the thing most precious to me above all others. It is my rapier, a noble weapon made of the finest steel, fashioned by the bestness in Grangor. It is a family heirloom that has been with the Fafara since time immemorial. Stolen by a worthy servant of the notorious Sawman. Well, I have tried everything to retrieve my rapier, but the fellow just won't give it back. Either I must spill blood or live with the eternal humiliation and shame. Wonderful. Maybe you will be able to take back what is mine from that blockhead. But you should know he's a mean customer, and he has like-minded friends. You'll find him with his cronies at the dueling ground. Hey, you there! Get lost! You don't want to call out Salmon, do ya? Stolen? <laughs> this fop says I stole this rapier. Fa! A stupid dandy called Arico lost it to me in an honest game. <laughs> That's right, he made exactly the same dumb orc face as you when he had to hand over his toothpick. It won't be cheap. Fifteen ducats is my prize. Ha! That's what I like to hear. And I thought this was going to be a boring day. You against me and my comrades here. A duel to the death. No mercy, no pity, no quarter given. That's how we Sawman boys do things. Attack! Ah! I surrender. Mercy! Please, have pity! Take the rapier! Please! Please! Here, my money. Take that too. Ah, uh, greetings. How can Alrico Fafara help you? Wonderful! Simply wonderful! Go to Captain Rumpo. You can be sure of his vote now. Ah, my savior. Indeed, we have decided that we will support you. You have our, uh, I mean, my vote. In recognition of your services, I would be pleased to impart to you some of my own skills. Hey, you. I don't know you yet. That is correct. But I would still venture to ask what such a beauty... Uh, what an elven woman is doing... Oh, I haven't even introduced myself. Yakon Zagor is my name. There's no cause for concern, dear Yakon. I'm here because it suits me. And you? I have only seen one kind of magician here, and she is not known for her openness. I have nothing to do with that magician. In fact, quite the contrary, I... Oh, 
Well, perhaps we will have the opportunity to speak later on. We must now continue on our secret quest. Do tell. What are you doing here? Ask and learn. I also sell herbs and various things I have gathered on my travels. A Lowry Springborn? Ah, oh, I miss her too. But this life would not be for her, and I will not return to the Saidaba. Elves grow as old as the trees, but for humans, seven years is a long time. There are so many stories in this place. You know, everybody came here to be free. I just wanted to experience all the different sides of life. This yearning created disharmony in the Song of the Tribe, so one day I decided to leave. I have seen so much since that day. I may be closer to Badak, but that is no loss. I gain because I understand so much more. I feel another, more powerful creature within me ever since I lost my Ayama. On my travels, I came upon a wondrous cave. I saw a sparkling in its depths, but as I approached, a scaly creature full of anger and greed arose from the waters. Fear possessed me and I fled. I did not notice that I dropped my harp. I tried to make another, but I can show you where it happened on your map. <laughs> 